Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on today to do another um, episode of Saving with Shalonda Sunday. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're gonna like and you're gonna love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Let me know how you're doing. Also, be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, so let's hop into it. So we are on week 23 of Saving with Shalonda Sunday, guys. So clap it up if you've been here since the beginning, okay? Uh, we um, On Sundays, we are on a quest to save our starter emergency fund. So we have been saving uh, $20 together since September, Okay. And so we have over, we have $442 saved already, and then we'll be adding some money to it today. And we'll be playing the games in this booklet here, which are available in the description box as free downloads to you all. Like I said, I gave these games away during um, my giveaways, 500 and um, 1,000, 1,500 subscriber giveaways. So you can start building your own savings booklet. So like I said, there's no excuse for not having high quality um, savings challenges, guys, okay? So um, let's go ahead and stuff our cash, okay? So for Sunday, we have, uh, we play um, our games of $50. So we play $20 for saving with Shalonda Sunday. And normally I play um, my other games where I put it into my bonus folder here. But today we're going to um, actually be playing um, some more games from my new book. So we're going to put the other $30 in my heat book today. All right. So that's how we're going to play it. So we put, put this off to the side for a second. So let's come into, let's count our prop money first. So in the front of the tray, we have the money for saving with Shalonda Sunday, which is $20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. And then in the back of the tray, we have $30 that I'm going to play in my heat booklet today. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. All right. So we have that taken care of. So let's oh, go ahead and open up our booklet and we're going to go ahead and color in an icon today. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna use this one here. And this is gonna represent the $20 that we're playing with in uh, our Saving with Shalonda games today, guys. All right. All right, and like I said, I wanted to do like a little flip through for those of you who are new. So like I said, there are 11 games and about three downloads that are in there. Roll the dice, roll and save, bingo, shut the box, draw five, 100 envelope challenge, roll five, fresh donuts, taco Tuesday, and um, New Year. Those are the games that are available to you right now to play for free. Okay. In the download in the description box, I print those off. And let's go ahead and give our envelope account for saving with Shalonda. Like I said, we had we started with 442, so we should have 462 now since we added $20 today. All right. We got our prop money. One, two, three, four. Like I said, there's a download in there for prop money as well. Four, 20, 40, 60. One, two, so 462, you should have saved up in your saving with Shalonda envelope. All right, so let's start our games now. So I added the games back, we're starting over again. So I added the games back to a will of names to determine what we're gonna play, all right? So here's our will of names with all the games. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spin. All right, draw five is our first game that we'll be playing today. And like I said, we'll be playing four of the 11 games today. All right, we'll remove that for the wheel. So we're gonna to try to give our game at least about $5 or so, guys, okay? So let's turn to draw five, okay? And so this is a card game here, guys. 
And so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, shuffle our cards a little bit. And then whatever the majority is, we're going to save. If the majority is a black suit, we're going to save $1. And if it's a red suit, we're going to save $2 for it in color in one of the icons, the icon that we get. Okay, so whatever the majority in our hand is. Okay, as you can see, the majority is diamonds. We have two diamonds and one of everything else. A diamond is the majority, so we're going to save $2 and color in a diamond icon gumball, okay? Okay, so that's that one. Let's do through the next five cards. Okay, so based on this hand here, our majority is a spade. We got two spades and one of everything else. So that is going to be for black suits. We're going to save an additional dollar and we're going to color in a spade icon, gumdrop. Okay, and we'll do our final um, pool here. Look at all those twos, guys. All right, again, you see that hearts is the majority there. So we'll save $2 for a red suit, just like that. And then we'll color in another heart icon. Okay. And so we have a total of five dollars going in for draw five, two, four, five. All right, which is perfect. Cause like I said, that is our average for games that we want to get. I'm gonna add it to our list here so we keep track. All right. Back to our wheel of names, guys. <clears throat> All right, we'll do it another spin, get our next game. All right, we got the 100 envelope challenge, okay? So I'm gonna remove that from the wheel. So we're going to do uh, five envelopes on here. To play this game, guys, we're going to use, um, on Google, we're gonna type in a random number generator, okay? And then we're gonna type in one to 100, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna press generate to get our first couple envelopes, okay? We got 100. 100 is already taken, guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press it again. 98. 98 is available. And we'll color in number 98. And it's going to be a dollar. Okay, let's go again. 64. Okay, 64 is available as well. So we'll color that one in as well. Another dollar. Ninety-seven is available. It's on this ring as well, kind of guys. I'm gonna color around it. All right. So that's three. We need two more. And let's um just roll a dice, guys. You can roll any type of dice that you have. I got a twenty-sided dice here. And I'm going to roll um, this black one as well, see if we can get a number. We can multiply, add, divide, whatever we get. 14 times 2 is 28. Let's see if that's available on here. It is. So 14 times 2 is 28. So we'll do that one. And then we got one more. Let's try to see what we can get now. All right. Oh, look, we got two, we got, is this three available? Three is available, guys. So it was two plus one. <laughs> so we'll do three, okay? Color it in. All 
All right, so we got our five envelopes. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five dollars going in for the hundred envelope challenge as well. All right, on to our next game. Let me get back to our um, wheel of names. Okay, but first coffee is a winner today. All right, so game number three. Okay, and like I said, this comes as a roll and save, it, of course, guys, but you can add scratch off stickers if you would like. So that's what I have chosen to do. And I also just roll a 12 sided die with this one. Uh, is it one on the table, guys? It is not. Pick what I want, but it's okay. What's this? That's a 20 sided. Oh, here, here's one, 12 sided. Here we go. Okay, we got number two, but number two is already gone. Let's roll again. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for here. Okay, that one is $2. Okay. And we'll go ahead and try another one. Try our luck, okay? Two is already gone. Three. All right, that one is a dollar. All right, one more time for the road, guys. Here we go. We got eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. And what is this one here? All right, that one is a $3 uh, coffee. All right, so let's say $3. All right, let me clean this up. All right, so we got um, $6 going in for um, the first coffee, two, four, five, six. All right. And that leaves us with only four dollars left for our um, interactive component. So let's see what we'll be playing next. Okay, we got Taco Tuesday, so we'll remove that. Okay, and we actually have um, the tacos at 50 cents and the margaritas at a dollar. So we'll roll and mark them off, guys. Okay, one. We got a taco, so that's 50 cents. Okay, I'm going to be using my Dollar Tree chips if you have chips or any, any sort like that for to make change, okay? We'll go again. Five. One, two, three, four, five. We got a margarita, which is one dollar. We got one, another margarita, which is another dollar. All right. We got a dollar fifty left, so here we go. One, and third margarita, okay. And we only have 50 cent left to avoid an IOU. We're just going to come in and mark a taco, okay. Let's just mark here, and for fun, let's just see what we would have rolled at, guys, okay. I did two. Let's see what we got. It would have been six, but one, two, three, four, five. It would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. It still would have been a taco either way. But that's how you do it to prevent an IOU, okay? And so we'll add $4 to our taco game, all in all. So $4 going in for uh, Taco Tuesday. So let me go ahead and give you your final totals on this, guys, with what you should have in your envelopes after today. Check my math here.
Okay, we should be at 462, and which we are. That's the total we should have. So these are the totals here. Uh, we didn't play roll the dice today, but it's at 75. Roll and save is still at 89. Bingo is at 81. Shut the box is at 84. The 100 envelope challenge got $5 today, so it's now at 38. Roll five, didn't get anything today, still at 27. Draw five, got $5 today, so it's at 38. But first coffee got six dollars today, so it's now at eleven dollars. Uh, Taco Tuesday got four dollars today, so it's at nine dollars. Happy New Year is still at four, and Fresh Donuts is still at six. But across all of our envelopes, guys, we have four hundred and sixty-two dollars saved for our interactive component. All right. So that concludes the interactive component of um, Saving Wish Alana Sunday. So if you enjoyed that, like I said, please get in the comments and let me know. And like I said, get in, those, um, get in the description box and print off your free challenges, okay? No excuse for not getting um, started saving, guys, all right? So I'm going to put this off to the side. And then as I mentioned, we are going to be getting into uh, my heat book, okay? To play some more games that I didn't get a chance to play yesterday because I ran out of money, all right? <laughs> So I was like, this is the best way to play it. You know, still saving with Shalonda. More stuff to do. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out here, guys. Our tracker. And also, guys, yep, I did notice that yesterday that um, when I played, I had to add another $5 to my heat game because I ended up putting some money back into the tray over here when I was playing with the prop money. And so I, instead of $60 yesterday, I played $65, actually. Okay, that's going to take from my uh, total that I had remaining, Okay. Just so you guys know. So I'm going to um, use a little bit less than I had intended when I actually do my game night. All right. But anyway, here that's neither here nor there. But we are, we've already added $30 um, from earlier. This money here. And so we're going to color in some icons represent the $30 that we'll be playing with on here. Okay. So let's do another $20 bill. And we'll color another $10 bill. Okay, I'm to make this one yellow too. Okay. Okay, so that's another thirty dollars that we've added. So this is our progress so far, guys. So like I said, this whole this page here, once this page here is filled in, we will have uh, five hundred dollars saved if we're able to color our, all these envelopes for the month. And that's that's my goal, like playing my book and giving my my book some action this month, guys. Okay. So it's looking good and I'm excited about it, okay? So there we go. And like I said, we're going to hop over to finish on some of the Sinking Funds games that I didn't get to play yesterday, okay? This book that you're seeing here, like I said, is available on Etsy if you're interested, okay? We left off around here at the word search, so we're going to start here with Vacation Me, please, okay? And like I said, our goal is going to be about $5 or so per game that we have remaining, guys, okay? And here we go. So um, we're going to roll a dice for our suitcase, okay? It's up to 24, so I'm going to roll, let's see. Um, you can roll any type of combination of dice you want, guys. You want to be at the top, roll six-sided dice, 12-sided dice, 20-sided dice, whatever you want, guys, okay? Okay, eight is our first case. So we're coloring our case here. And then we're going to do a coordinate and scratch to see the amount that we'll be saving. Okay. Okay, that is a one. Okay. Like I said, we're um, we're going to be saving even an odd for um, my channel, guys. But like I said, if you have the money, of course you save the amount, that, you know, the correct amount that's down here. So it's the denomination is one through 24. Okay. Like I said, I'm saving this money for vacation, but like I said, all my money goes into one fund and then at the end of the month, I divvy it up into where it needs to go. So that I can show all my games from love, okay? And I don't necessarily have to save for just one thing, okay? Here we go. Or have that pressure of just saving for one thing, okay? 15. So I'm gonna color in number 15 case.
I'm gonna do our scratch that matches up, lines up with that one. Okay, so that one is nine, okay. So another odd number, so a dollar for me. All right, I'll go ahead and do another roll. Let's do, let's see. Let's roll our 20-sided die and see what we get, guys. We got 18, okay. Case 18, I'll color that one in. Give it a scratch. 11, okay, we can do one more. We can change one more, guys. Let's see, let's roll this one again, I think. Let's roll, yeah, we'll do this one again. That four. Okay, number four. Okay, that is an eight, so that is an even. So we'll save two dollars, okay? But like I said, had you been playing this the uh, uh, normal way, guys, let me put a two dollar bill up there. Had you been playing this the normal way, guys, you would have been 10 plus, what was that, 19? So 29 dollars, okay? For those of you who have money, but you know, I'm gonna pay five dollars, two, three, four, five for me okay and then i'm going to add that five dollars to my uh, vacation me please tracker there okay so i can keep up to see how much money i actually have in vacation guys from the vacation games i played on here all right another uh, vacation game is called poolside it's also a scratch off so we're going to go ahead and roll our dice do a few of these as well, same denominations. For odd, is it gonna be a dollar? And even numbers we scratch will be $2. But again, another one that's one through 24. So you really can save, um, I think 300, $325 is the amount of $320 or something like that, guys. Okay, so four. One, two, three, four. See, there's a $20 lady on a floaty, okay? And so that's even, so I'm gonna save $2 for her. Four, one, two, three, four. A $22 lady. So another two, and we'll do one more here. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got an $8 floaty. All right, so $2 as well. So as you can see, the totals that add up, that would have been um, $50, guys, for high income, okay? But I am saving $6 today. Because I want this to be an ongoing challenge where, like I said, like today, we got $11 so far in the vacation game. So if we play this weekly at this amount, we should get in at the month but with about $40 that we can put trans over to our vacation fund if we wanted to, okay? You decide where the money goes. Like I said, all mine really goes into one pot. But say, for instance, I feel like I need the vacation money. I want to be for vacation. I would go directly to my vacation challenges and I would take the money that I play for the month and move that into uh, my vacation sinking fund right away, okay? So that's, that's what I would do. Um, so this one is called, the next scratch up is called Live Music. And like I said, this is um, for you to save up like for concert tickets, for maybe like um, theater tickets or season passes to something in the arts and entertainment type world, guys, or just for anything that you can save up for like season passes or something that you and your family um, enjoy doing, okay? Uh, I have these set for um, one through three denominations. So we'll do a couple on here as well. Roll for our scratch. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a drum set, which is $2. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A second drum set. All right. One. And we got a guitar that's worth $3, guys. Okay.
So we got two, four, six, seven dollars going in for live music. Okay. So we'll add that to our tracker. All right. Okay, I haven't played um, ping pong yet, so we'll play this one as well. Let me see how much money I got, though. Let me see. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. $12. Let me come back to this one. Let me play bingo first. <laughs> okay. So for the bingo caller, guys, we are going to um, get our phones, and we're going to set up a bingo caller on, our, on Google, because we're going to need this to call our numbers, okay? So you're just going to type in bingo caller on there. Okay, it's going to be the first thing that pops up on Google. It's going to be called Let's Play Bingo. You're going to go to it. It's going to pull up a bingo board that looks like this. And then you're going to press reset board if you've been playing like I've been playing already because I love this game. All right. <laughs> and then we're going to press start game in a second for our first ball. But let me go ahead and um, do our other things that we need to do. Like number one. We need to decide uh, how many uh, bingo cards we're going to be playing. We're, we're going to play two cards, I think, would be sufficient. Or let's see. Yeah, let's play two, maybe. Okay. Or do I want to play three? Maybe I just play these straight across. No. I want to do... I'm going to do these two right here. I'm going to stay there. Okay. Because this one is worth a dollar if I bingo on this card. And I think on this card is worth uh, four dollars. Matter of fact, let's go in the middle. Let's do two and uh, five. Two and five. We're doing those two cards there. So I'm either gonna say two dollars or five dollars. But to start our game, we're gonna play two dollars, one dollar for bingo. No, no, let's play. Let's play two cards, y'all. Right, two, and then we gonna play these four boards right there. We only play them one time. All right. <laughs> Like I said, if you go to bingo, guys, this is exactly like um, band wall, band, <laughs> bandwagon <laughs> VFW bingo, guys, okay? Like the gambling bingo, which is really, really fun, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm going to roll. Uh, we need a 10-sided die, I believe, and we need... Okay, so we need... Let's do our game first. We need a 12-sided die. These are the games here. We're going to roll a 12-sided die to determine the game. All right, our game is number nine on the list. Okay, then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is our bingo here, guys, okay? It's called the clock, okay? So you can see it's kind of like the outside rim of the bingo minus the four corners and then it has that little G right there for the, for the clock or the tick or what they call it, the hand or whatever. So that's the shape we're attempting to get for our bingo there, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and roll this die here for our uh, wild, wild ball. So anything that ends in this number, four, we get the mark off as a free space, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mark off my bingo cards with the with the wild ball, okay? I don't think we even need some of these numbers, but I'm going to still mark them off so you guys can see what it looks like to mark off the wild balls, okay? Anything in and in a number four will be wild, consider wild, plus your free space, even if we don't need it, okay? Let's see, four, that ends at four. Okay. All right, I think I got everything. All right, so now we can go ahead and play now, guys, okay? But like I said, the goal is, it's gonna be that, 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 and then that there, okay? So that's what, that's what we're trying to get, okay? <laughs> That's the shape we want for our bingo. Okay, so we're going to start our game. First number is um, ball of G46. Let me try to get it in there so you can kind of see. If anybody can't see, guys. I'm going to go really quickly. G46. So we're only looking at this number here. That's the only one we need for G46, okay? I know we need this one too. Never mind. These two. Okay, next number. And 39. For the ends, we need the top and the bottom. Yep. Let me make sure. Yep. Okay. 
I-29. N37. So I'm just kind of like skimming these for the top and the bottom. So top row, bottom row to get the shape that we need, guys. Okay. B6. So it's just these three. So this one here. This one counts. Okay. B12. This one counts. Okay. N41. Top and bottom. Okay. N44, nope, I-22, okay, O-68, O-71 that we need, just these three here, this one counts, okay, I-18, that one counts to make our shape that we need, this one counts. N33, okay, N32, that one, okay, G54, okay, G47, uh, G58, O seventy and forty two. Okay. G sixty. Oh, this one counts because we're trying to get that little hand sign there. Okay. G fifty two and thirty eight. B7, okay, the O66, we need this one, no, we don't need that one, that's the corner, okay, double check, oh, B14, okay, let's see, O73, don't need that one, all right, I-17, O-64, B-5, okay, G-49, guys, let's see, just need that one there, let's see, make sure, nope, all right, keep going, guys, so we get a bingo, I-26, G50. We ain't even close yet. B4. Okay. Which is also a wild ball, guys. Okay. In 36. I24. Okay. O75. Yeah, that one don't count. This one counts. It's inside the grid. Okay. B11. None that don't count. They got to be in the first three numbers on the Bs, guys. I20. Doesn't count. Let's see. Double check. Here's one here. Okay. Um, Let's see. What's the N35? That one counts. Okay, G55. Mm, nope. O62. Nope, nothing on there. I23. Nope. Okay, B8. None that don't count, guys. Nothing counts. B3, all right, we need that three there for our shape. I16, nope. O74. B13, 
Need that one. Let's see. All right. B9. There we go. Let me look at this card. We almost close. Should be close on here. 72. Make sure we ain't miss. <laughs> All right. Now we still good. Still truck along, guys. B9. We already did the B9. It was the last one. B2. G48. O65. Okay. Uh, G53. B10. Don't need anything. Nope. I30. Need that one. Okay. O67. We need that one. I27. Let's see. Nope. I21. G56. We need that one there. Hold on. What else? Make sure. Okay. So we're almost getting close on this one, guys. Let's see. What did I say? 56. Uh, all right. B15. We don't need any more. We're out of, we're done with the Bs on all of ours, guys. We don't need any more Bs. I19. Uh, I25. Okay, G59. So we need that one there. Okay. I got a 49 here that I didn't mark. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm 45, 45 up here. Okay. We just need a 45 for this bingo card, guys. Okay. G57. We need that one. 21, 28. Make sure I ain't skip none, y'all. <laughs> All right, what was that? 57. Okay, we need that one. I 28. Cancel. N 40. I think we're no. Okay. N 43. Forty three. We still need a forty five, guys. O sixty nine. B one. N thirty four. Y'all still here? <laughs> I love bingo, guys. I love bingo. When you love the gamble, this is your bingo. I'm telling you. N thirty one. Uh uh uh. O sixty one. I know it's a long game, guys. I apologize. But I wanted to show you how, how to play it online, okay? 51. Play it, play it for real. G51, okay. Here we go. Let's see where we at now with this one. We need a 53 that I, I already did 53. I missed that one. Let's see. 72. We need a 72 here, okay. And 45. There it is. <laughs> That's what I needed for bingo, guys, okay? So, finally got a bingo here, as you can see. If you look at these lines right here, so you got that line right there, you got that line right there, line right there, shape right there, and then it goes down through the center like that for your clock, okay? So that is what you were trying to get on here to emulate that picture there, okay? So you're trying to emulate that picture, and so that's what that picture is, okay? So this orange bingo card is worth $5. <laughs> so I will say $5 for that bingo card, okay? <laughs> So, like I said, you only got to play one bingo round when you play this, to be honest, okay? Because it's, it's a lengthy game. So, two, four, five, six, seven dollars for bingo. Like I said, I had to show y'all, okay? There we go. Love that. Love every moment because bingo is so fun, okay? And then, let's see. It's only two more games I haven't played. And we got what? One, two, three. Oh, we only got five dollars, guys. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, play. Uh, let's try dice and darts because we are we, we we already here. Like I said, it takes three dollars to play this at least. Okay, so that's the three. Okay, the buy-in, and then we're gonna go get a twenty-sided dice, and we're going to circle the numbers. We gotta roll this twenty-one times, guys. Okay, twelve. Since we're already here, let's just finish up strong, guys. <laughs> All right, let's play everything four. Okay. 
You just circle the little X's each time you roll one of the dice. Six. You get three chances for each one. Six. Uh, here it is. We got another. That's a nine there. We got a three, 17, 17, so 17 is out. That's the third, 17, okay. 18, mm. we got a 10, 11, 10, We got a one, 12, let's see, 12, here we go, 10, 10 is out as well, let's see, 16, 18, let's see, 18 is here, okay, I'm going to go ahead and count how many I got so far, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, we got an eight, three more, another nine, two more, one, final roll, nine, all right? So now we get our calculator to um, tally up our score, okay? We start from the 20 and go our way around. We got two number one, so that's two dollars, two eighteens, which is 36, one four, No 13s. We got one six. Three tens. That's just 30. No 15s. No twos. We got three seventeens. So that is 51. Okay. Then we got um, a three. 19 seven. We got a 16. An eight. An 11. 14, we got three nines, so 27, two 12s, 24, and that's it. So our score is 218. So we're right 218 here. And the goal is to, on the second game, is to beat our score. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to roll 21 times over here. We got five. One, sixteen. 10, 6, 15 again, let's see, 15, okay, 3, 5, 19, Seventeen. Let me do that one. Okay, four more. That one is a six. No more sixes. Well, I don't think that one's great. We got one more six. Okay. Three more rolls. Two. That's eight. And this is our final roll here. Seventeen. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, calculate that. See what our score is. Okay, start at the 20. We got one, one. We got a 13. We got one, six. We got a 10. Uh, we got a 15. 
two, 17, a three, a 19, a seven, a 16, another two, two eights, which is 16. We got two nines, 18. We got a one twelve, and we got two fives, so that's 10. Okay, so here is our score, guys. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta add this other six here. Oops, that I skipped, okay. So that was 185 plus six, which is one, uh, 191. Okay, so we beat our square, guys. We did better that time. We didn't get really a lot of big numbers, so that that helps. So we don't have to pay anything else. So we just got to cash up to $3, which is perfect. And we'll put it right in our dart like that, okay? And that's that. And then we get we got $2 remaining to play um, Pong, okay? So we need uh, six dice. So I got six dice up to y'all. Yeah, I do. Okay. So if we get an even amount of cups left, it's a dollar. Odd amount of cups left is 50 cents. So we got $2 exactly, guys, okay? Here we go. Let's see, six. Okay, we need a one and a two. Okay, so that's one, so that's 50 cents. Okay, we need a one, four, one, two, four. Okay, and that's uh, only one remaining, so that's another 50 cent. Okay, and we got one dollar left, guys. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, one, two, three. We need a, um, a six and a four, six and four. We didn't get either, so that is the final dollar, guys, okay? Then we'll put a one here, and that's how that happens. But let's come back to our tracker so we can fill in everything that we played, okay? So, like I said, Pong got $2. Well, Dyson Darks only got three. We'll put that there. Pong got $2, okay? And then we got Bingo. We already put that in there, didn't we? For seven, I think. Yep. All right, so we have tracked all of our games and played all of our games, guys, and we spent all of our money, and it's been a great uh, weekend so far because we were able to play our book and play all of our games, all right? <laughs> so uh, fun, fun, fun stuff. So um, like I said, I'll be back with another video um, later on. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a uh, huge thumbs up, okay? Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, this book that you see here, um, he is available over on Etsy, guys, all right, if you're interested. All right, so this is my first savings challenge book. And like I said, we had fun today. And yesterday, I'm going to keep having fun with this book. It was designed for that to have fun while saving money, guys. And that's exactly what I continue to plan on doing. If you want to get on board, you know where to find me. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, I am done. Thank you guys for watching. Please get in the comments and let me know what you thought about. Like I said, I'm sorry about being gone. It was long, but I had to show you guys how to play. All right. But like I said, you guys are going to lo start loving bingo, okay, the way that I play. All right? So I am done, guys. So like I said, um, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your day. Bye.